Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this video because the DIY Valentine's Day theme Valentine's Day is just right around the corner so I thought I would do a fun little DIY that you can give as a gift to like literally anybody and you can personalize it which I think is so cute and yeah I just had a lot of fun with this DIY so I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up if you do and I'll see you. Let's get started. Okay, so these are all the ingredients you will need. I will also have it listed down below, and just to let you guys know, I use lavender as my essential oil. Okay, so because it is for Valentine's Day, I thought it'd be really cute to add in some decorations, like flower petals, the heart candies, and some sprinkles. This is where you can completely personalize it, which I love about this DIY. Okay, so the first part is to combine all of your dry ingredients into a big bowl. So that would be your baking soda, Epsom salt, corn starch, and citric acid. And then you just want to stir that all up thoroughly so it's all combined. And now in a separate bowl, we are going to mix in all of our wet ingredients. So I'm first doing my essential oil, then my water, my oil, and lastly, a few drops of red food coloring. Mine came out as like a baby pink, but if you want a darker red, then I suggest doing a couple of drops. And then you just want to stir that all up. And now you're going to combine it with the dry ingredients. This part is a little tricky because you only want to do a few drops at a time because if you pour in all the wet ingredients, it will have the chemical reaction and it will ruin your bath bomb. So I just did a couple drops at a time and then I just started going in with my hands and mixing it all up. So this is what mine looked like when I got everything mixed up together. Okay, so this is the fun part when you decorate uh, your bath bomb. So I just put in a little heart candy for this one and then put in some of the mix and you really want to push it down so it's nice and tight and just have fun with it. You know, decorate it however you want and yeah, you just want to get make sure that it is in there really tight. And then you're just going to take both halves and kind of just squeeze them together and just make it nice and tight. And some actus will come out, but that's okay. Just wipe it off. And you just want to squeeze them together as tight as you can. And then leave it like that for about a minute. And then go ahead with a spoon and tap one side at a time. This helps to loosen it up so you can take the mold off. So this is what the first one looks like. I think it is super cute and I love how you can see the little candy heart. And now for my second one, I did a circle shape and I kind of just played around putting in a bunch of flower petals and candy hearts in it, but you're just gonna do the same thing again. I really loved how this one turned out, especially you could see the flower petals. I just think it is super pretty. And then on the other side, I just did some red sprinkles. And then lastly, I just put it in some containers with paper towels just so it could harden up. And I would suggest doing this for about 24 hours before you use them. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs. And I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.